So this is a tiny little city, so... And this is something that was so cool that we decided we wanted to keep it, so it's part of the beginning of a Greatest Hits area that we're going to be maintaining. Where greatest we, Hits? Yeah, where we keep, like, the things that we think are the best things. Um, but, uh, I mean, if you look at this, I mean, this is... Yeah, it's pretty know, too it's cool. thousands of hours. Who, of how work. many, who, who did this? Um, this was done by... Patricia Ann DeVoe, yeah. and she's actually interviewed on one of our podcasts, on podcast number three, to talk okay. about her work, and, um, uh, you know, we, we just thought this was pretty cool, so we decided to keep it, but, um, I mean... What does she normally do? Like, does she do this for a living, or does she... No, she actually works for IBM. Oh, she does. Yeah, she does. And I used to work her, for IBM. <laughs> this is her first. Is she uh, is she around uh, in this neck of the woods, or no, she's, she's in Amadou? I forget. The country she lives in, but it's not a place I remember. Um, so she did this for out of love, really. She basically. did it out of love. It's a lot of love in that, in that yeah. project. And um, so, I mean, you know, what you're saying about you know, do people know what what this is? I mean, when I mean, the thing is, mostly people aren't just happening by here. Um, you know, people are hearing about it from someone or reading about it. It's been getting quite a bit of press online. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when they show well, up... Well, I'll try, I'll try to do a little bit of research on that, too. They show up, they see this sign, which is... Um, which explains the project, you know. Okay. And, you know, and then... Um, and, and the thing that makes it special is the feedback loop. Because, you know, we have a community of people that are starting to make artwork for this project, and then we have the community of people who are critiquing that work in the blog and on the podcast. Okay. And so, you know, basically people know that if they put something here, it's going to get critiqued as artwork. And well, that's pretty interesting. So and, you know, and it's going to be critiqued by uh, some people who are pretty smart people, you know. Well, you know what I think? Okay, it would be interesting if you had another monitor here with the blog up. I would to love this. to get that. And in fact, I mean, I mean, it seems to me that this computer, as right you, I mean, if we accept that art is, you know, that you need to use the elements of form and design, and part of the art is the idea, mm -hmm. then it would seem to me that the next logical step to this is to take the ideas in the blog and present them along with the work. Yes. Because that would that would extend this, would bring it around. I think that's the part that I'm sensing is missing here is that you have a part of, of the process that's happening, but it's not it's actually not what I'm what I am actually here looking at looks like just another display of an island. Right. What 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 I need is the Visual that that makes the, sense. Well, the block. So that's what I would say. We got this computer right here from right. TechServe. Yeah. And um, this monitor was donated by a company. I think it would make it. I think and it I would, would love to get another sponsor that would give us another computer too. Well, to have I mean, here. it seems like an easy thing to, to do. I mean, it, so just basically, you would have one more computer mm -hmm. with the blog up there, mm -hmm. and as people clicked on the objects, they would bring up the blog quotes, the blog. So that would then create the, con the connection that you actually say within this mm -hmm. thing. That would be the thing that completes this. Um, so then you would look at it, and then you could see that online, too, when yeah. you looked at it. So, and online, so what I would, what would suggest you see is the annotations that people say about the objects appear within the Second Life as little Interface. like... Yes. Uh, that would be pretty cool. I don't wouldn't, know. That, wouldn't that be interesting? That would be... That's the answer. That's the answer to this thing. What would make this? What would make Second Life more interesting, if it in fact created an environment where there was that interaction and allow people to interact in the regular 2D web space and have it show up in the 3D space, and I guess vice versa, if you mm -hmm. wanted, vice versa. But I think that's something that IBM had maybe thought about wanting to do. I don't think they ever got to it. Mm -hmm. Because they can't ever get to anything, because they are so matrixed out that they can never, they never can, they've become so matricized that they can never get enough authority to do anything, and mm -hmm. so they're just helpless. By the time they figure out they have money for anything, someone's already stolen it and used it for something else. So unfortunately, 
most of the innovation at IBM is sitting in laboratories and dying mm -hmm. because it doesn't get a chance to be seen because there's too many middle management types of people that just smolder it. Mm -hmm. But I think there's, you know, and that's what I found by working at IBM is that you can't get anything done there because you can never get anyone to agree enough, long enough, uh -huh. to get anything to happen. Uh -huh. So I, I would say every corporation has their problems and that's one that IBM has. Mm -hmm. Their matrix system works against them mm -hmm. because they can't ever get quorum mm -hmm. <laughs> long enough to get anything done <laughs> before they cut the funds again. So I, I, I definitely um, feel for you, but I think you have the power to do this project with very little. You don't really need much to create, to finish this. You don't need much to close the loop, yeah. basically. Well, another thing that we're, we're hoping to do to close the loop is to get a, uh, a webcam hooked yeah. up so that people well, in right. and so there, can so, see us. So the, so the point of the, all of this is to create, within this frame, yes. the entire experience. Right. That, that would then create all the formalistic elements that you needed, mm -hmm. basically. That's, that would make this more than just, because I could do this at home. Why do yeah. I need to be here? I mean, the reality the is, reason, is the this is not manifesting the gallery. The though. only reason is that this is a big damn screen. No, but, yeah, but <laughs> never, never mind that. To, to make it truly interactive, mm -hmm. you would essentially need those things. That, you know, you would need all of that to be happening, but I don't think you're that far from it. It's, 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 it's maybe... Yeah. 20 or 30 hours of work on Boris's part and a couple of parts. Right. That's it. Right. That's all you need. And, and then the rest of it, uh, it would be interesting to see. I'll, I'll, I'll speak to Boris and let him know that I've been here. Okay, yeah. I'm going to stop this now. So uh, now people are look, yeah. actually here in the gallery looking at the thing. This is a, uh, this is a digital interactive uh, no. artwork. Uh, it's you it's called Brooklyn is Watching. Okay. Okay. And uh, I don't know if you've heard of Second Life, yeah. Yeah. but it's, it's, it's all oh. coming into it. It sure does. A lot of collectors. A lot of collectors. In. It's actually, believe it or not, this gallery is almost better known in Europe than it is in Manhattan. Why is that? Can um, you tell me why this guy? What's the name of the gallery again? Jack the Pelican Presents. Yeah. Jack the Pelican. Yeah. Presents, yeah. Okay, and he doesn't want to have your animal things in there because you paint. Why don't you paint a pelican? Hey, man, I don't know. Why don't you paint a stuff, <laughs> stuffed pelican? It's, it's Don's gallery. He, he does whatever he wants. Yeah, you know, some people um, don't like that. Yeah. But, uh, but. The, um, the, when I was over in, in uh, the Netherlands, oh, I had a sort of okay. residency over there, and I was amazed at how many people had heard of this gallery. And then I went really? to London for a while, and yeah. the same thing. Uh, yeah, everyone yeah. had heard of Jack the Pelican. And I've heard of him too, but I don't uh, never... It's, awesome. it's got a reputation for being a really like, cutting-edge gallery, okay. and a gallery that really yeah, takes risks. And uh, they've done a lot of really crazy stuff. All right. And right. People, people, the Europeans have this That's attitude so that, you know, Basically, by the time it gets to Chelsea, it's all, it's all old. I think mean, the Chelsea hat. people aren't really all that um, daring anymore. I mean, yeah. it, and uh, if, if people want to be different, they just want to be different to be different and not really based on any real difference. I mean, they, they seem to be, I mean, so can you find out who that is? Okay, I'll, I'll just going to get myself in here before I turn this camera off. So I'm over here at Jack Pelican's in Williamsburg. And I think that's it for now. Bye. Thank you, some pretty interesting stuff. Like, I find this is kind of interesting. I mean, it, it's, it's sort of... You know, it's, it's too bad Don's not here right now, because yeah. he'd be a good person for you to talk to. He's I mean, Don here. is the owner? The yeah, well, you know, it's okay. He's, a, he's an interesting character and a very, really, really smart guy. Now it's interesting that on the camera this thing is coming up as like if you see on the camera it's coming up in a wave. I know, isn't that interesting? Is that is that deliberate? I think that um, well I don't know if the artist knew about it, but it is interesting. It's something I that it um, it's because uh, it's it's got. Is it the lighting on it? it? Yeah, the way the lights are. Right yeah. Now some of this stuff is pretty interesting, although some of it looks like I've seen it before, like almost like this is looks like. Okay, I've. It's a variation of an idea. Well, it's obviously the you know, screen, but it, it looks.